it's me again crazy bag lady so i hope you well so this is a much requested video um i'm filming it on my little mini ipad so it might look slightly different um so i'm going to cover today's topic which is the new to check app um i've had a few people messaging me saying they really want to know how to uh, work it and how to sort of uh, do the calorie counting so i started calorie counting in ow the dog just bit my toe stop it i started calorie counting in june so i'd followed slimming world for absolutely ages and i had lost weight on slimming world so this is not a video to slag off slimming world because i have lost weight on it but i'd got stuck in a rut and i only wanted to lose about a stone and i really couldn't shift it um i'd gotten stuck of stuck in the rut of eating the same food over and over again and i really felt like i needed like a real complete overhaul so somebody i know on facebook had started losing weight so i asked them what they did and they went oh i'll just use the news check app and i was like what's that and they explained about this calorie counting and it kind of made sense so i downloaded the news check app um it cost me i think it was about 28 pound for the year which is a lot cheaper than paying weekly for like a slimming class and yeah i lost over a stone so i'm going to show you my little new chat app and stuff on my phone which is why i'm filming on my ipad um so i really hope that this is useful and it does inspire somebody to try and lose a few pounds and it just keeps you on the straight and narrow and the great thing is nothing is restricted so like summer world has like food that you can't eat and stuff and you can't have certain things and um whereas on calorie counting you can eat what you want as long as you stay within your calories and that is the golden rule if you follow it 100 percent, you will lose right, weight okay trying to do this seriously without my dog <laughs> so new check app this is what it looks like so this is how you log on they're my favorite so i'll get out of that so basically when you get up in the morning you get like a, a blank little screen like this which at the bottom tells you how many calories a day you're allowed so mine is 1200 which is quite low in calories um obviously i didn't have a lot to lose in the first place so the more you've got to lose and depending on your age and how much you move about and stuff depends how many calories you get so because i put my my exercise down as like moderate because i never really sit still but then i don't also go to the gym or anything um so i'm kind of in the middle with like moving about um so that's why my calories are quite low but i have lost weight on that and i have got my head around it and i can manage to live on that every day um so yeah so what i do um in the morning oh and i forgot to say when you download the new chat app it'll ask you all your questions so it'll work your calories out for you so you it asks you if you're male or female what you currently weigh what you would like to weigh um how tall you are and how much exercise and stuff you do and your age and everything so it'll work your calories out for you so you don't need to worry about that so breakfast in the morning so this morning i've had uh cornflakes so because i do have them quite often it brings up a lot of your favorites so i've had tesco cornflakes i've had 30 grams so that's 116 calories and you literally just add it to your breakfast i've also had skimmed milk with it so you just uh on. it's ever so hard to type while you're looking out through an ipad screen so skimmed milk so as you start to type stuff in um it will bring it up or it should do pop my can't type there look there's your skimmed milk so it more or less works out for you so 125 ml for cereal i don't actually measure my milk um i've still lost weight without measuring milk so if you got to the point where you weren't losing weight you probably would have to look at definitely weighing your milk i weigh everything else the only thing i don't measure out is my milk so i do 125 ml for cereal add that to my breakfast so <clears throat> it then tells you how many calories you've got left for the day so i also have um about i've worked out roughly on average about seven hot drinks a day. I probably sometimes have more, sometimes I have a little bit less, but I have roughly about seven a day. Um, hang on, change this. So I press seven. So that's roughly my milk allowance for the day for my drinks. I pop that in my snack section. Um, and this is what I do. It's so easy. Um, and then you can pretty much eat anything you can have anything you want you can create meals which is in your meal section so i've already got 25 meals that i eat regularly so uh 
like I have like ham toasters. So you can make these recipes up yourself and then when you want to eat them again, you just go back into your app, go into my meals and click, say you're going to have it for dinner, you just click add and it adds it into dinner and that's the ingredients for my ham toasty. So once you've logged your recipe, it's so easy to add it in. Um, and then for lunch, I quite often have uh, like bagels. So again, you just tap what you're going to eat in there. I don't actually know if I'm having a bagel today, but say we are. So um, let me just try and tap this thing on. B O G E bagel. So I have the Warburton's Thin Bagels. So again, they've got less calories in. So you just click add to your lunch and it'll add it in. So I tried to think of some tips as well. Break them all down. So um, Diet Coke is a good one. It's a good one to drink because it's very, very low. Cal well, it's almost calorie free. And the fizziness like fills your tummy up a bit, which we found that Diet Coke was really good or any sort of fizzy sugar free drink. Weigh everything. Do not estimate. So um, like cheese, like if you're having 10 grams of cheese, have 10 grams of cheese don't flick like 30 grams in and just log that you've only eaten 10 because the only person you're cheating is yourself uh, so weigh everything um instagram absolutely fantastic for recipes i'll show you some of them in a minute um look at little things to swap so when i first started new to check i put loads of things that i like to eat in just to see how many calories were in it um so little things like having blueberries instead of grapes was a massive difference there's quite a lot of calories in grapes <coughs> compared to blueberries so i now flick over to blueberries instead of grapes um if you really want to cut down on your calories and save them for more treats you can swap to almond milk rather than skimmed milk um don't be scared of things like butter and stuff Eat, again if you weigh them there's not as much calories as you think there is uh crisps i tend to eat like pop chips they are really low calorie and they're very tasty i really like them i also like walker's french fries because you get a lot in a packet and they take a long time to eat i really enjoy walker's french fries mccain do lower calorie chips as well which are really really good so you can still have fish and chips so i have like mccain lower fat chips and young's uh i think it's lower fat fish um i buy sugar-free sweets so if i'm really desperate to have a sweet i'll go like to the cupboard and get like sugar-free sweet i think they're only like six calories each or something bagels are really good as well bread you can have bread like on slimming world they're like you can only have two slices of like wholemeal bread or whatever but on this you can have bread i have white bread i make ham toasties with white bread and i've still lost weight um little, little things like uh bananas are quite high calories oh, and I forgot to show you, you can track everything. Because you pay for the app, the app is constantly updated. So if you want to know how many calories are in something, you get your little barcode thing, scan it, and it'll tell you how many calories are in it. Ta -da! So on the fat section, the orange stuff is quite low in fat. Um, the green, if it turns green, that means it's really good. Or if it turns red, it means it's very high in fat. You can still have it, but be aware that it is higher in fat. So Instagram, Instagram is really good for recipes. I also think TikTok is as well, but I tend to follow mine on Instagram. I find it easy to use. So I follow her. She's really good. Alex Kitchen Bangers. So I'm actually going to make this next week. <gasps> Look at it. it. Looks so good. And the recipe will be down here. So it'll tell you roughly how many people it serves, the ingredients, and you can work it all out from that. It is so good. Um, and then tonight, what am I making tonight? Hang on. So tonight I'm making this one. Looks so good. Um, so on, like see it's chicken on like see better. Um, and I'll have it with lots of salad because salad is obviously low in calories. And I'll have lots of salad and then some pop chips at the side. But again, all the things are down below. So it's just a case of looking, um, finding favourite recipes, things that are easy to make. And again, once you've logged this recipe into your NutriCheck app, it's so easy to then go and sort of log on your dinner. It's so easy. So using the pop chips. Um, so pop chips have got 73 calories in them and 2.2 grams of fat. So normal crisps. You can still have normal crisps. Um, but look at the difference. These have got 129 calories in and 7.2 grams of fat. So you can even get away with probably having two packets of that if you've got enough calories. Um, whereas you probably only have one packet of that. Great for snacking. Typical example of what's in my fridge. So skimmed milk. 
I love pure orange juice because it helps you go to the toilet and stuff. But I've actually realised that there's hardly any calories in cranberry juice and it's also really good for you. So I've swapped pure orange juice for cranberry juice. These yogurts, if you need a chocolate fix, because we all do sometimes, these are really low in calories. So Muller Light's uh, chocolate fix are 68 calories, which is really low. Um, if you buy Muller Light, because on Slimming World they say Muller Lights used to be free and you could eat as many of them as you wanted. Although I think you have to count them a little bit now on Slimming World, but at the time when I used to follow it, they were free. So a, uh, Muller Light I think has got about 75 calories in. Um, but they are bigger pots, but I find these are just as good. So these ones I've only got 55 calories in. So good. Uh, what else do I have? These are really good. Um, Dairyly Jumbo Tubes. They're not too bad in calories as well. Um, Philadelphia Light Cheese Spread is also really good if you'd like to have something on your bread rather than butter. Hellman's Light and Light. Again, it's making the little choices to swap things for lower calories rather than higher calories. And also on the Nutrishake app, they do a thing where you can earn back calories. So they say that when you do lots of exercise, you can log your exercise and then earn calories back by doing exercise. I've never done that because I sort of think, well, you've done the exercise and you've burnt the calories, but then if you're eating even more, then you're kind of eating the calories back, which you don't really need to. So if you can, I don't add the calorie, I don't add the calories on for exercise because I think you can earn back like 200 calories and stuff. But then if you're eating those extra 200 calories, I kind of felt like I probably wouldn't lose weight. So for me, I didn't log the exercise. So I really hope that this has been useful. I hope that you can understand my garbling on um i'm always on youtube so if, if you are stuck and i'm also on instagram so if you are stuck with new to check app and you can't work it out please just drop me a message i'm always here for a bit of advice and help um when i started i was 11 stone six and at my lowest just before christmas i have put a little bit on over christmas i got down to nine stone 12 and a half so i was pretty much where i wanted to be um at the minute i'm 10 stone three so i'm still a lot lot less and we've had christmas and stuff and i've still managed to keep it off um i've gained about four pound which don't really matter but i'm trying to be good again just to get back down to about 10 stone if i can um so i hope this has inspired somebody so if you really are struggling or if you want to lose a few pound download it you also get a free seven day trial so i'm gonna let my dog in hang on you get a free seven day trial so what i did is download it on the morning that you're going to start so don't download it on like a sunday night because you lose a whole day uh download it on the monday morning try it for seven days and see what you think to it i did it and i lost five pound in my first week which is why i then went to download the whole thing so give it a free try and see what you think so and anyway if you follow me on youtube i do film my daily daily meals so you'll always see what i'm eating oh and also at night time forgot to say this at night time for snacking i have a bowl of blueberries raspberries and whatever fruits in season uh, with one of those light yogurts and i have it about eight o'clock and then i try not to eat anything after that if i can help it so i hope you enjoyed this if you need any help just drop me a question down below and i'll always be here to answer it and come and follow my daily videos and see what we eat and see how we get on with our little journey and of course sometimes you have to be naughty i mean sometimes i've not eaten all my calories in the week and then you can use your extra calories at weekend to have like a few bags of crisps and stuff and obviously you can track your wine um and just look for the lower calorie things as well there's also a couple of new to check apps uh new to check groups on facebook as well for support and obviously there's lots of people on uh, instagram and tiktok making like low calorie recipes and stuff so yeah it's all out there it's just down to you so i hope you enjoyed this i love you and leave you i'll see you very soon bye